Helen Beard. When you graduated from college, you worked in the film industry for about 15 years in different roles. In what ways do you think that experience has informed your painting? I don't know, actually. I think that the, I was styling and for sets and did a lot of costume as well. So I was always interested in, in um, the scene. So I think when I started painting, that was really important. I was informed by the fact that I was trying to create a, a story. A story? Like a, like a film set, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So narrative and, and framing and that kind of... Yeah, I think crops, the way that I crop an image, you know, I was always looking at it through a camera's eyes. I'm quite interested in, in doing close crops and also coming far out as, as you would in, with a camera. Mm -hmm. So both of them interest me. Mm -hmm. So looking at your various works, you've used collage and needlepoint and ceramics and installations as a glorious embrace of different materials. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to us a bit about how and why you use different materials? I use the traditionally feminine materials like crochet, knitting and embroidery because um, I was taught by my grandma, she was a dressmaker and it was, they were skills that I was given as a child. She had a lot of patience, she taught me to do all these things and it was um, and I felt a lot of love in that house as well. So it was kind of, it, it, it was encompassed in the whole um, unconditional love that I felt there, I think. So that's why I've continued to make works in that, in that way. And I love the fact that it's such a feminine pursuit and that it perhaps jars with my subject matter as well. So that it's a, a it may be a feminist pursuit, but it, feminine pursuit, but using it in a, in a more feminist way and with my subject matter. Can you talk a bit about your subject matter? <laughs> I think that sex is such a, a basic instinct of, of human nature, isn't it? So I want to celebrate the fact that, um, you know, it's something within us all that, that we're really interested in. It's always an interesting subject. People are fascinated by it, aren't they? So I think that's what I've concentrated on, that it's a, a universal that, that really people are excited about and I want to portray sex in a joyous manner. It's often portrayed in the media as a bad thing and I want to celebrate it as something that can be equally as a good thing. Yeah. There's a, a, the gallery text accompanying this Two Colours exhibition tells us that your paintings take back ownership of sexual imagery from the predominantly male gaze. Um, do you remember what first influenced you to begin this series of works? I think that I, I thought it was a provocative subject to start with for a woman to make work about sex and I liked artists that were doing that and, and that, that probably started me off. But now I can see that, you know, predominantly it has been from a male gaze and it's really important to have a female point of view on this. So, so it's just made me, it's encouraged me to make more works in that vein. And what are you working on now? Have you, uh, have you, have you begun? I have lots of different, uh, I've got billions of ideas that are that, uh, concurrent and I've, I've been working on um, some ceramics that are about domestic violence and um, abuse. I've, I'm working on some tapestries which again are, are similar, um, a similar theme and I'm continuing to make the, the paintings which I want to be about the joy of sex and you know vivid colours and try and portray that excitement that that you can get so so lots of different um, variations within that theme I suppose yeah thank you okay <laughs>